Hey everyone, welcome back to Ed's Tech Talk. My name is Edison and it's been a while since our last video and today we're going to do a RAM upgrade to my Lenovo IdeaPad S340 laptop. So we're adding an additional um, 4 gigabytes of RAM to my laptop but before we do that make sure that you like this video and click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell as well so that you'll be the first to be notified for our new and upcoming videos so without further ado let's upgrade this laptop okay so some of the materials that we will need for um, the installment of the RAM on this unit is a T5 um, Torx screw you can get it to focus but this is a T5 size um, Torx screw so it's a hexagonal shape screw so this one for the 10 screws on the back side of the laptop um, plastic pry tool to remove the back cover first the memory and the laptop itself so we have to make sure that the laptop is turned off before opening the underside of the laptop and uh, first let's um, open this um, this is a Kingston um, sodium RAM so let's open this one first This is a 260 pin um, sodium RAM. This will be the one to install inside this unit, right? So it's important to know the correct um, frequency of your RAM. So for this one, it's a 2666 um, hertz megahertz um, sodium RAM so all the things are ready so we can now start by um, unscrewing the um, making it Alright, so after um, removing or unscrewing all the screws, we can now pry the back cover with our plastic pry tool. So you must um, pry it carefully. So you can hear the clicks. You just have to be careful because um, the whole underside cover, the whole back cover is plastic, so you should be careful to not um, force the back cover from the frame because you could damage the parts.
right there so after um, removing the back cover so here now is the inside of the Lenovo IdeaPad S340 so we're going to put the RAM here so but first we need to disconnect first the battery so this is the battery of the laptop so we need to disconnect first to make sure that there is no electricity running in the system now remove the memory module simply have to carefully lift it and there is the slot for another 4 gigabytes of RAM so I can now put this one inside this one uh, take note that the other 4 gigabytes of RAM for this unit is already soldered into the motherboard so here is the RAM going to install and it will stop into place like that and we just simply have to replace or reinstall this one, the cover, and we're all set. So, as simple as that, we're now set. the slots of our RAM and we now have 7.8 gigabytes of RAM or well total of 8 gigs but of course you cannot use all of the 8 gigs and so that's it for today's video again this is Edison and Stack Talk until the next one see you Bye-bye.